Hey Filmmaker Shung here, in this video we're going to show you how to make a quick film strip inside of Premiere Pro. So first we have a footage here, we're going to load this onto the timeline. And we're going to make this, of course, much smaller. Like this. And we're just going to do a single frame film strip, so not like a row of several ones, just to show you a quick way. And uh, first we need to have a background, so go to New Item, go to Color Mat. Press OK, choose a color, let's do a turquoise like this, OK, press OK. Put this under the video, so that will be our background. So we have like turquoise background. And another thing that we need is a black video, so go to new items, black video, and then OK. Drag this under the other video, or under the video clip. And now the effects that we need is uh, grid and grid. Put it on the black video, and the next one is crop. And there. So let's go back to effects control. So now we go to grid. We're going to change the blending mode to stencil alpha. And we're going to change the size from to width and height. So now we just uh, can control the width and height to make how much uh, of a grid or um, yeah, what we want to be actually the puncture holes in the or perforations in the film. So we want the perforations on top and bottom of the uh, video. So let's actually add the border. So we have like a thick black border. I think like these perforations, the width of this looks right. Um, maybe just that it's like this. Now the height of the perforations of course. So let's make these taller. I think can add a little bit more width like this. So we have these preparations. Now we go to crop, we crop the left here. So just, so we have like, just like this and the right this being the same, also 30. Now the top and bottom. So top, this and the bottom like this. And now we have our, um, yeah. Okay. Now we just made our quick uh, film strip inside of Premiere Pro. And if you want this film strip to be a little bit animated or uh, 3D, you can uh, add a basic 3D. So type in here basic. But first make sure to select the black video and your video clip, right mouse click and choose nest. And then press OK. It makes it into one clip. So when we add the basic 3D onto it, it's just uh, one parameter we need to control. So now we can have this film strip into like a um, yeah 3D perspective. And now when we play this, have this film strip. Hope you found this a very useful tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to comment in the comment section here below. And if you are new to this channel and want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button here below. Thank you guys for watching, be safe out there and CD out.